Yeah, it's been up. No, he's been up. He's got to go like 25 to 25. Right, did up to your programme, so give you the running total for the international solos after three legs. Darren Pugh has got 26 points. Bradley Kite, 22. Gareth Hickmott, 22. David Spain, 20. Velascroft, 19. Mark Richardson, 18. Mark Chilman, 18. Mark Ferry, 13. Tim Nobbs, Daniel Winterton and Dean Garrett, 10. Stephen Taylor, 9. Dipper Evans, Scott Finlayson, Martin Sturgeon. Dipper Evans, Scott Finlayson, 8. Martin Sturgeon, 6. Michael Gosling has got 3. That's the totals after three legs. the start is Rob Bradley and Gary Jackson on his shoulder. Lee Jones has made a cracking start and the call is in fourth place into the top corner. They go for the first time and it is Rob Bradley who leads it then from Gary Jackson in second place. They got the back straight for the uh, first time. Looks like Rick Rob Bradley in Sean Simpson chair leading them for Gary Jackson and Carl Bly holding that to second place position. Bradley leads them for Jackson in second. It is McCauley in third. Stuff has gone through to fourth. Jones has dropped back to five with Bly in six. They're bunching up for the minor places. Rob Bradley continues with his winning ways to the front. He's pulling away from Gary Jackson and McCauley. Still, still stopping. Jones in five. Bly is in six. They come out of that pits corner one again. Rob Bradley almost locked it up coming out of that pits corner. Anxious look behind him by his passenger Sean Simpson sees that he's still pulling away from Gary Jackson having a very consistent afternoon. Gary Jackson has been second or third each time he's been out so far, but look at Rob Bradley go. Going up that track, but he's pulling away from Jackson. In Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson looking to make it three to three, the eight to the thousand side guard. Gary Jackson second step by looks behind to see where the opposition is. Rick McCauley hanging on to that third. Then John Stafford in four. Lee Jones in five. Step by starting to close by Lee Jones. Trap going on there for six places. There's Rob Bradley in the corner. 40. Race number 19. Another heat of the food super. CC side Rob Bradley makes it three to three, the heat. Rob Bradley wins it. Rob Bradley wins it. Second is Gary Jackson. Third place goes to Rick McCauley. John Stafford gets the fifth with Lee Jones in sixth. Step fifth place, Lee Jones. Stephen Bly in sixth place. With points then for race number 19. Outfit number three, Lee Jones, two points. Outfit number 23, Gary Jackson, five points. Number 30, Steph Bly, one point. Number 51, Rick McCauley. Four points. Number 81, John Stafford, three points. And number 87, Rob Bradley, seven points. And the winning time, one minute, 45.31. One minute, 45.31. Enrico Jankoska, six. Joe Screen, 28. Matt Tresseru, 14. David Howe, two. Pepe Rudolph, 12. Martin Williams, 7. Steph Tresseru, 15. Andrew Moore, 7. Daniel Rath, 7. Jason Handley, 17. Richard Smith, 6. James Rogers, 22. Steve Brayford, 14. And Craig Smith, the one point. That brings you bang up to date with the solos after they've all taken the three legs. We move on now to race number 20,000 cc sidecars with uh, Rob Bradley just winning race 19. The owners very much know on Rob Wilson to continue with his winning ways in race number 20. We'll wait to see if Buster Page does come out. He didn't come out in his uh, second ride and was replaced by the meeting reserve. Who's got the advantage? Paul White, who has made 
the best start he's made all the afternoon. And Rob Wilson way back in fourth place. And on Rob didn't make the best of starts. The reserve is in for Leicester Pages. Paul White and Major and Steve Smith in second place. They go up the back straight for the first time. Rob Wilson with all the work to do in fourth place. But look at him going through. He went through from fourth to second and somebody followed him through and Steve Smith has gone through from second to third as Paul White and Major. They come by for the first time. Rob Wilson trying to get through on the inside. That's White and Major for Wilson second. It's Winterboard in third. Smith is in four. His cock in five. What super action we've got. This time they come out of that top corner once again. White and Major. Rob Wilson's out in second. Winterboard's not too far behind Wilson. Scott, in fifth place with the reserve Westbrook back in sixth. They come out of that next corner once again. Still Whiteland's got the advantage over Wilson there. Wilson begging them all round the outside. As Whiteland leads into that top corner. Wilson's got the second. It's still Winterberg in third with Smith in four. It's Scott in five. The reserve Westbrook is in six. They go up the back straight once again. And Rob Wilson still with a lot to do. But again, look at this. He's on the shoulder for as they come out of that pitch corner then, it's Wilson leads it from White Lim, the second row, Wilson took yards and yards off the opposition here, Rob Wilson leads it from White Lim in second, it's Winderbud in third, Smith is in four, these four are long way clear of John Hisco, but what a ride there by Rob Wilson, he had so much power coming up that back straight, he's flying away at the front, now completely misses the ball. He's now got a command in the pitch corner for the four more time. It's Rob Wilson going to make it three to three in the heats of the sidecars. Rob Wilson wins it. Second is Paul White with the best round of the afternoon. Winterbourne gets to third. Split in four. Hiscock in five. Westbrook in sixth place. But what a ride and what speed there for Rob Wilson going up that back straight because Paul Whiteman didn't make any mistakes at all. He was just beaten by sheer speed there by Rob Wilson. Race number 20 points. Rider number two, Steve Smith, three points. Rider number 24, Rob Wilson, seven points. Rider number 48, Rob Wils Winderburn, four points. Number 52, Lester Page, non-starter. Number 92, Paul Whitelam. Number 184, John Hiscock. And the reserve, Ray Westbrook, number 17, one point. The winning time, one minute. 46.75 1 minute 46.75 right if you just uh, just the uh, clerk of the course has just been over there is an exclusion in that race number 20 there is an exclusion so sorry we're going to mess your points about we'll go through them as soon as we've got them sorted out we are ready to go for the points and so rider number two steve smith now scores four points four points rider number 24 rob wilson stays on seven points rider number 48 rod winterbourne is excluded rider number 48 rod winterbourne excluded 52 lester page is a non-starter 92 paul whiteland stays on five 184 john hiscock goes to three and rider number 17 ray westbrook gets two points. So rider number 48, Rod Winterbourne, is excluded from race number 20. Right, on we go then to race 21, another heat to the fabulous thousand chairs. Fantastic action there in that last race. And the speed of Rob Wilson up that back straight on laps two, lap one and lap four was absolutely incredible. So Peter Lloyd, Chris Winderburn, Colin Blackburn, Marl Simmons, Duncan Tollers, Ray Pickard, they're the outfit sent for race number 21. Come by us 
for the first time. Colin Blackmore with Duncan Thomas and Miles Summers there. Three best pickards go through in the fourth place. Peter Lloyd is in five. They go in the top corner for the first time. Then it's Colin Blackmore that leads them going up the back straight. Duncan Thomas has got the second place. It looks like Miles Simmons coming up. They enter the fifth corner for the first time. Colin Blackmore leads it with Duncan Thomas trying to close the gap there in second place. Nothing much between these two as they complete the opening. Blackmore leads it with Tolhurst in second. Simmons is in third. Royd is in four. Winterburn in five. That's the top five when Pickard in sixth place. They go up the back straight. Once again, Duncan Tolhurst trying to close the gap on Colin Blackmore. In third. Trying to find a way through on the inside of Peter Lloyd again. Duncan Tollers very close to Colin Blackmore, but Colin Blackmore still with the advantage they complete two then. Then Tollers in second, Simmons in third, Winterburn in four, Lloyd in five, Pickard in six. That's the six. We see that Duncan Tollers again is very quick going into that top draw and again. He's got the speed coming out of the corner to bite behind Colin Blackmore. In the sixth corner on lap number three, a bite between these and into the bar. Blackmore leads it then from Tollis in second. Tollis turns very tight coming out of that corner. That's allowed Colin Blackmore to pull away slightly. Duncan Tollis again trying to close the gap on the entry to that top corner. That's where Duncan Tollis is very quick on that top corner. But he's not quick enough this time and Colin Blackmore just slightly extending his lead. It's Simmons in third. Lloyd is in fourth. It looks we lost him with the ball to that top Tollers very close to Colin Blackmore, he turns very tight out of that final corner. Blackmore gets it. Second is Duncan Tollers. Noel Simmons gets the third. Peter Lloyd comes across the line in four. Pickards have got five, and Winterburns with a sixth point should coast home to pick up the sixth place position. Points. Number seven, Ray Pickard. Two points. Number nine, Noel Simmons. Four points. 25, Colin Blackmore. Seven points. 46, Chris Winderburn, one point. 74, Duncan Tolhurst, five points. And the winning time, one minute 46.57. One minute 46.57. We may well see that uh, Michael Gosden will come out for him, but we haven't had confirmation of that, but uh, Thomas Cooper will be a non-starter. Stephen Taylor replaces Andrew Moore. <laughs> has gone through into second place as it is Darren Pugh gone extremely well so far this afternoon taking a real wide line coming out of that top corner Darren Pugh leads it then from Stephen Taylor in second, Mark Chilman in third, Gary Hickman in fourth, Palastroft in five, that's the five as they go into that pits corner on the opening lap, pits Darren Pugh with a big lead, somebody's gone down, they will be Darren Starting a little bit spread out now, just left with the four one as a four and rider remains to retake that fifth place for just the last one just around the edge of Mark Chilman as Darren Pugh leads now as they come through to complete up two then. It's Stephen Taylor in second place. Velascroft in third, Mark Chilman in four. Was Garrett Hickman the foul will hold in the fifth place? This is remounted, he retakes that fifth place. Then goes to the is in five, he lost that flag in this corner. Got extremely well in the opening heats of this international class this afternoon. It's still Stephen Taylor holding the second, Vince Velascroft in third, Mark Chilman in fourth, Gareth Hickmock in five. As they go to the back straight, 40 for the time, Velascroft making a move. Darren Pugh wins it, Stephen Taylor's gone really wide, Flashcroft has come late and gets the second place, good ride there by Flashcroft, Stephen Taylor gets the third, Mark Chilman in four, Garrett Hickmoth is in fifth place. Points for that race, rider number 21, Mark Richardson, non-starter. Number 24, Daniel Winterton, non-starter. 25, Flashcroft, eight points. 29, Darren Pugh, ten points. Number 30, Gareth Hickmott, four points. 
31 Thomas Cooper, non-starter. 33 Mark Chilman, five points. 39 Stephen Taylor, six points. And the winning time, 1 minute 32.44. 1 minute 32.44. back of the field as Bradley Kite using every inch of track on that bottom corner and that's allowed number 38 David Spade to leave it then for Bradley Kite in second Martin Sturgeon third Mark Ferry is in fourth place at the top four or and Bradley Kite drops it again exactly the same place as was the previous he dropped it on the end Bradley Kite remounted back in last place at the moment as uh, David Spate leads it, sends his bike, sounds a bit sick going into that corner, it's still Martin Sturgeon, then we've got Mark Ferry, and they've got um, number 37 Scott Finlayson as they go to the back straight once again, it's David Spate leading the back of Dean Garrett to pick up another place there as the last cut flag is out then for David Spade, well clear of Martin Sturgeon in second place, it's Mark Ferry in third, Scott Finlayson is in four, Bradley Kite in five, Dean Garrett in six, up the six and Bradley Kite pick up any more places after four Spate gets a winning ride from Martin Sturgeon in second place. Mark Ferry gets a third. Bradley Kite picks him another place to come in four. Then we got Scott Finlayson and finally it's Dean Garrett. <laughs> Race 23 points. Number 37, Scott Finlayson, four points. Number 38, David Spate, ten points. 26, Mark Ferry, six points. 27, Martin Sturgeon, eight points. 28, Dippin Evans, non-starter. 32, Bradley Kite, 5 points. 34, Dean Garrett, 3 points. And Tim Nobbs, of course, was a non-starter. The winning time, 1 minute 35.82. 1 minute 35.82. Second place they go. Jimmy Rogers got in, is in fourth place. That's a top four. They go in the fifth corner for the first time. It's Green and Legion and Barth in second place. He's just pulling away. Looks behind him, see Robert Barson, five, six boys behind him, tremendous race by screen. He leads far then for Rogers in third, and it's back up to four. Number four, Enrico Yonosco holds that fifth place, but that's the top five with the shot and the finish. Place. 
Super Robo Jamie Rodgers goes back in that first place. Yes, the series leading bar into that fence corner. Straight lead to the bar in second. Rodgers in third. Hanley is in fourth. Inosco is in five. Moore is in six. That's the top six. Martin Williams in eight. Fabulous action in race number 24. The points as follows. Rider number one, Robert Bath, eight points. Rider number four, Enrico Jankoska, four points. Rider number five, Joe Screen, 10 points. Number 23, Martin Williams, one point. Stefan Tresseru, two points. Andrew Moore, three points. Jason Handley, five points. And Jamie Rogers, Six points. Winning time, one minute twenty six point two five. One minute twenty six point two five. to that top bend, somebody taking a big amble right round the outside of that top bend, but after the leader then, Finn, uh, Piper in second, Rayford's gone through into third place, it's Rudolph in four, that's the top four, the Royal in number six, Matthew Crespo pulling out the right from the front the back of the field then. And fifth place, we'll pick them out as they come by to complete lap number two. But it's Andrew Appleton that leads it then from Theo Piper in second place. Good rider, Steve Braford. He's got the third place. Number eight is in Pepe Rudolph, is in fourth place. That's the top four as they go in the back straight on lap number three. Then. Andrew Appleton leads him on to lap number four then from Piper still holding that second. Brayford has got the third. It's still Rudolph in four. Richard Smith is in five. Number Tom Daniel Rapp is in six. Andrew Appleton, he wins this one. Second is Theo Piper. Third place goes to Steve Brayford. Fourth is rider number eight. That's Pepe Rudolph. There followed by rider number 14, Richard Smith. Then number 12, Daniel Rath. And that completes race 25. Right, the points for race number 25. Rider number two, Theo Piper, eight points. Number three, Andrew Appleton, 10 points. Number six, Matthew Tresseru, no points. Number seven, David Howe, non-starter. Number eight, Pepe Rudolph, five points. Number 12, Daniel Rath, three points. Number 14, Richard Smith, four points. And number 16, Steve Brayford, six points. The winning time, one minute 26.87. One minute 26.87. <laughs> right, we move on then to the three last qualifying heats, the last leg of the chairs. So race 26, Ray Pickard, B. Lloyd, Chris Winderburn, John Hiscock, Colin Blackmore, on beat Rob Bradley. That's race number 26.
second by the first Tom Collin, Blackmore leads him and Rob Bradley in second, Winterburns have got the third, Hiscock in fourth, Picard in five, Peter Lloyd surprised in the back as Colin Blackmore has the whole shot on Rob Bradley to go at the back straight for the first time then Blackmore leads it from Bradley in second place, Winterburns. <laughs> Place as John Escoffrey takes the fifth place position as Rob Bradley trying to come through on the inside of Colin Blackmore needs to rock shoulder shoulder coming out of that pits corner but it's Blackmore who leads him from Bradley in second Winterbourne's have got the third Picard in four he's got five Peter Lloyd still in sixth place that's the six they go up the back straight once again Colin Blackmore still leads it Rob Bradley trying to close the gap there in second place he's Fitz corner, Colin Blackmore has gone wide, a chance for Rob Bradley to find a way through on the inside, but Blackmore is too quick for him at the moment, as Blackmore still leads them from Bradley in second, it's still, it's still Winterburns on the third, Rob Bradley again on the shoulder of Colin Blackmore, Colin Blackmore's gone wide, Rob Bradley almost got through on the inside, but Colin Blackmore again pulls away, but Rob Bradley's hunted him down on the entry to that Fitz corner on the left of the three then, it's with Winterburns and Sir Blackmore the Second place, Rob again almost turned himself inside out and never try and get through on the ends of Colin Blackmore. He's riding the he's got the line that Rob Bradley is still looking for. Winterbourne still hang on to that third. Picard is in four. Lloyd's gone to the five. We lost John Hiscock so much on the course that race. Again, Rob Bradley got very close on the exit. He's on the ends of Colin Blackmore. Now he's absolutely together. Colin Blackmore around the outside. Rob Bradley tries to get through on the inside. And Rob Bradley gets on the inside. Of Colin Fabulous action, they cross the line absolutely together there, fantastic sidecar action there, Winterburns get the third, with Picards in four, Peter Lawrence in five, we lost somewhere on the line John Hiscock, but what a sensational finish there to that race, Rob Bradley finally got through on the inside, but Colin Blackburn came very, very late indeed, and I'll leave that one for the gentleman on my right to see who wins a fabulous race, number 26. Right, race 26 result. Outfit number four, Peter Lloyd, two points. Outfit number seven, Ray Pickard, three points. Outfit number 25, seven points. Colin Blackbourne just got it on the line there in race number 26. He gets the seven points. Number 46, Chris Winterburn, four points. Number 87, Rob Bradley. Five points beaten for the first time this afternoon and 184 John Hiscock, no points, non-finisher. So Colin Blackbourne just taken on the line in a fabulous heat of 1,000cc sidecar action. The time was 1 minute 50.16, 1 minute 50.16. Right on we go then to race number 27, Paul White, the Mole Simmons, Lee Jones, Rick McCauley, Step Lyon, Duncan Tollis for the outfits for race number 27. On we go then to the action for race number 27. second. Rip McCall has got the third step, flies in four, that's the top four, and it is uh, Miles Simmons who hasn't made the best of starts, he's looking through to get through into fourth place, that's a dreadful start by Miles Simmons, and he's really got a move. Miles Simmons is leaving the 
foot, Paul Moyne, he's still in second, it's Rick McCauley holding the third place position, the Senate Sun Negative, difficult to pick the back, but it is Tolles who leads, from Whiteham in second, McCauley in third, Simmons is in four, Bly is in five, Jones in six, that's the six, up the back straight they go once again, Duncan Tolles start the build himself, a good lead the front over Paul Whiteman, holding that second place. Strapped along that third and fourth place, and so they can play another one then. With Toller still the race leader from Whiteham in second. McCauley coming under pressure from Miles Simmons that race. Fourth, third, and fourth place. And McCauley holding the inside line for St. Simmons to go right round the outside of him. Once that third place is still Dun Duncan Tollers continues to lead. <laughs> has got through on the inside of Rick McCall. They're going to be through first, the second, third, and fourth. Trap pits corner on lap number three. Mm -hmm. Tollis is the leader then from Whiteman just holding on to that second plate. Simmons trying to get through on the inside. McCauley now drops back to four. Again, they bunch up for the minor places on the entry to that top end. And that's knowing Duncan Tollis to pull away the front of Miles Simmons. He's going to get through on the inside of Paul Whiteman. This time he does get through on the inside. So Miles Prince Corner, 44 points. It's Simmons in second. It's Whiteman in third. The corner's got the ball. There's Duncan Torres picks up the winning ride. Second is Miles Simmons. Third place goes to Paul Whiteman. Fourth is Rick McCauley. Five is Steph Fly. Sixth place goes to Lee Jones. Points end for race number 27. Now for number three, Lee Jones scores one point. Number nine, Miles Simmons, five points. Number 30, Steph Fly. Two points. Number 51, Rick McCauley, three points. Number 74, Duncan Tollers, seven points. And number 92, Paul Whiteland, four points. The winning time, one minute 48.75. One minute 48.75. Six twenty-eight. final heat up aside car action. Well, the Leicester Page has been out since the first round. Rob Wilson, of course, is unbeaten. He's just seen Rob Bradley get beat in race number 26. Gary Jackson's been there all there about. Steve Smith needs a good ride this time to make sure he's getting into those uh, semi finals. So, everything to go for in race number 28. Looks like all circling around there before coming into line for race number 28. Jackson's got in Winterbourne's have got the third. We've only got the five out, but it's coming out, and Gary Jackson coming under pressure for Winterbourne's for second and third place. And Rob Wilson leads him up the back straight for the first time. Gary Jackson holds that second place for Winterbourne's. Two outfits have got the right, but have not come out. I think the reserve. Oh, it's Pitt. Steve Smith has completely missed the start, and that's disaster there for Steve Smith. He needed to score heavily in this one to get into the semi finals. And Rob Wilson leads it. From Gary Jackson, second, Winterbourne's have got the third place. That's the uh, top three with uh, John Stafford holding that third place. Fish and Rob Wilson and Nicky Owen absolutely boy. It's still Gary Jackson holding that second position from Rod and Tristan Winterbourne in the third place. Which drops over on the second and third, and Steve Smith up that dreadful start. Virgil up down as Wilson leads them from Jackson in second place. Winterburns have got the third place. It's John Stafford in fourth place with the reserve way Westbrook holding that fifth place position. 
and just to the second six and about to be left on the right to go into the pits corner then on the left. Smith pick up enough points here to get into one of those crucial semi finals. He moves on to his last lap then as the uh, Rob Wilson, uh, the race leader, moves on the lap four. From Jackson in second place. Winter Buzz again trying to close the gap on Jackson. They need to score heavily, of course. We're excluded from run right to need to get as many points they can as they see. Kelly Jackson just hanging on to that second place. Trying to close the gap there in third as Rob Wilson into the pit time is going to be on big than the and Winterburn's making a big move on the edge of Bruce Jackson coming out of that final corner Rob Wilson picks up another win while Winterburn's come right round the outside of the race for the line and Winterburn's have picked up that second place Gary Jackson gets the third John Stafford is in fourth it's Ray Westbrook going to be in fifth place and Steve Smith will get the six point place points and will that be enough to get him into those crucial semi-finals but another barnstorming ride there by Rob Wilson fabulous stuff there from Rob Wilson and Winterburn just snatching the second place on the line points then for race 28 number two Steve Smith one point number 23 Gary Jackson four points number 24 Rob Wilson seven points number 48 Rod Winterburn five points number 52 Lester Page and Paddy Monk were non-starters number 81 John Stafford three points and number 17 Ray Westbrook two points the winning time one minute 45.12 one minute 45.12 So we're looking then for Jamie Rogers, Steve Brayford, Pepe Rudrow, Andrew Moore, David Spate, Phil Ashcroft, Mark Gilman and Stephen Taylor. Those are all as in for this race sponsored by uh, Combined Insurance. Looks like Jamie Rogers holding that second place. They go around that top corner for the first time. It is uh, Jamie Rogers gone through on the inside of Pepe Rudolph. Rogers leads it from Rudolph in second place. Top to first going through. Steve Brave had made a dreadful start just at the wrong time. Then this Jamie Rogers leads it to that in first so the internationals mixing out with the world stars in this first semi-final and there's problems there but Papi Rudolph will hold in the second place as Jamie Rogers now leads it for Ashcroft has gone through in the second Andrew Moore's in third David Spade in fourth Steve Baker's up in five Mark Shelburne in sixth Stephen Taylor in seventh with a chance to Then we got Mark Chilman and finally Stephen Taylor in desperately bad luck there on Pepe Rudolph. We've got a safe second place when his bike went on the second lap. But what a ride there by Steve Rainford. Virtually off at the start, pulled his way through and has picked up that crucial second place. 127.91, the winning time for that uh, first semi final. And the result is as follows a win for number 15, Jamie Rogers. Second, number 16, Steve Rainford. And third, number 35, Andrew Moore. 25, 38, 33, and 39. That race sponsored by Richard Crow, Combined Insurance Company of America. Semi-final number one. Race 30, semi-final number two, sponsored by Fraser and Ross Robson. Jason Anley, Steph Tresseru, Matt Tresseru, Enrico Jankoska, Darren Pugh, Bradley Kite, Gareth Hickmott and Mark Ferry.
place and going through into first place, dives through, but it's hard back on the entry to that top right for Robbie Wood. Orwin Summer has gone down, is it Jason Adley that's gone down? It is, I'm sure it's Jason Adley gone down in semi final number two, it is. Looking back, there's no sign of Jason Adley, he's the rider that's gone down. Red flags are out, red flags are out. What an absolute tragedy there, Jason Adley just trying to make a move through on the inside. And it's not very often we see Jason go down, but he has gone down on the entry to that top corner on the first lap of semi-final number two. Good to see that Jason is okay. The news is he's excluded as the primary cause of the stoppage in race number 13. On number two rerun with the exclusion of Jason Hanley. So first prize, yellow ticket 443 for £100. White ticket for £50. 238. 2nd place, one number 10, Steph Dressler has got the 3rd place, but that's the top place they go, into that pits corner, one skin Darren Pugh again, back way on the outside, to retake the 2nd place, one number 10, Top corner once again, it's Jan Koska that leads it then from Tresserub in second place. Pugh has got the third place. Jan Koska is the leader then from Tresserub in second. It's Pugh in third. Hickmoth is in four. Mark Ferry is in five. Bradley Kite is in six. That's the six. They go to the back straight once again then. Renoska leads it then from Tresseru in second place. Pure has got the third again, a little bit spread out now in the second semi-final. Riding number 30, Garrett Hick, what's the next one across the line? Followed by Mark Ferry, surprised to see Bradley Kite. and then Gareth Hickmott, then Mark Ferry, and finally it's Bradley Kite. Result then of race number 30, sponsored by Fraser and Ross Robson, semi-final number two. A win for rider number four, Enrico Jankoska. Second, number 10, Stefan Tresseru. And third, number 29, Darren Pugh. 30. 26 and 32. Winning time 1 minute 29.09. 1 minute 29.09. Continue with the raffle, third prize, £25 or a crash helmet, you can choose orange ticket, three, two, three. Fourth prize, yellow ticket for a wine rack, one, two, six. Blue ticket, five, five, nine. White, three, five, seven. Blue, And it's Paul Wright and Megan a cracking start. Steve Smith has gone with Winterburns have got the third place. That's the top three bunching up going into that top corner the first time. And Steve Smith's got around the edge. So Paul Wright, we've got one outfit left of the line there. At the top of the five, got the back straight then for the first time. It's Smith the leader. Looks like Jackson in four. That's the top four. They dive into that pits corner for the first time then. It's Steve Smith making the start when it really counted. Leeds is semi final completely in the opening. But White number second. Winterbridge in third. Jackson are in four. McCauley's in five. That's the five as they go up the back straight once again. Steve Smith has made a dreadful start in his last team. Has made an absolute flyer in this semi final. 
Jackson gets the fourth place with Rick McCauley. He's going to go back and rejoin the race back in fifth place. So Steve Smith has made the start when he counted in the semi final. He wins that semi final. Rodden Twist and Winterburn get the second place with Paul Whiteman in third place. And him, Rick McCauley comes across the line in fifth place. Desperately bad luck there on Miles Simmons. Race 31, sidecar semi-final, sponsored by Stuart and Sandra Bright. A win for outfit number two, that's Steve Smith and Carl Pugh. Second, number 48, Rod and Tristan Winterburn. And third, number 92, Paul Whiteland and Ian Whale. 23 and 51. Winning time, 1 minute 45.31. 1 minute 45.31. So you add to the outfits you've already got in race number 33. Number two, Steve Smith and Carl Pugh. And number 48, Rod and Tristan Winterburn. And that gives you the six riders for the sidecar poacher final. They start the choose the grids end for this. Who'd have thought Joe Screen has been virtually 12 months since he's been on the grass track? He's top scored going into this poacher final. What a fabulous lineup! And what great credit to Reg Blackmore for putting on this spectacular show of high speed racing on this superbly prepared track this afternoon. And what a final we've got for you to be entertained with in this uh, solo final. By JB Taylor Construction. We thank them very much there for their uh, sponsorship of this final. Straight final, of course. And you begin to wear. to go through into second place but has he given Bath too much of a start Bath's got extremely wide and Joe Screen trying to get through on the inside that one's into the X as well as Bath leads him up to the second screen in third screen trying to get back round the X and that one gets back round the X and that one's in the move to the second place can he get a Favourite to take the World Long Track Championship. He is the World 
long track time and over. How great to see the Englishmen packing the places there in behind the very, very quick German. Tremendous return to grass track racing there for Joe Screen. It must be 12 months since he's been on a bike, but what a fabulous display he's put up this afternoon. So the top three coming round on their lap of honour. Super stuff, so showed appreciation. It could be the last time we see Robert Bath in this country. He looks like retaining his world long track crown this year, but scintillating stuff for Andrew Appleton and Joe Screen. What a return to the grass there for Joe Screen. Fabulous ride there by Joe. Andrew Appleton gets the third place. Robert Barth retains the Lincolnshire poach. He won it in 2005. He's come back and retained it in 2006. Andrew Appleton gets the applause for his third place. And Robert Barth, what a great ambassador for the sport he is. Fabulous afternoons racing. And your Lincolnshire poacher winner, Robert Barth. Fabulous stuff there. Absolutely scintillating stuff there in that poacher final sponsored by JB Taylor Construction. Your result, a win for number one, Robert Barr. Second number five, Joe Screen. And third number three, Andrew Appleton. Fourth, number two, Theo Piper. Fifth, number 16, Steve Brayford. Yeah, yes, I'll say. Then four, Enrico Jankoska, and finally number 15, Jamie Rogers. So it's great to see one, two, three, four Englishmen make that uh, poacher final. That's a fabulous sight for the English fans this afternoon. One minute, 25.06. One minute, 25.06. One, five, three, two, 16, four, and 15. We move on then again, sponsored by JB Taylor Construction. They are sponsoring this sidecar final as well. Can Rob Wilson continue with his fabulous form and go for the meeting totally unbeaten? Will Rob Bradley get to the corner first? Let's have a look at who we've got then. Number 24, Rob Wilson and Nicky Owen. Number 87, the reigning champion, Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson. Number 74, Duncan Tolhurst and Rob Patterson. Number 25, Colin Blackbourne and Paul Whiteham Jr. Number 2, Steve Smith and Carl Pugh. And number 48, Rod and Tristan Winterburn. So we've just seen Robert Barth retain his uh, poacher title. Will Rob Bradley do the same or will the ultra quick Rob Wilson be the man that is absolutely flying in 2006? Take this 2006 Lincolnshire Poacher sidecar final. Again, generously sponsored by JB Taylor Construction. We do thank you very much for their public sponsorship of these two finals this afternoon. We thank all our sponsors. Red flags are up, red flags are up. The tapes look to go up very uneven there. We have got a ragged, ragged start, so the drama is held out a little bit longer. We're going to have to have a restart of the 2006 Poachers sidecar final. So back in line then for the restart of this sidecar final. starts and where's Rob Bradley? Rob Bradley's in last place, he's completely missed the start of the final and it looks like Rob Wilson leads going up the back straight for the first time. Colin Blackburn goes for the second player, I think it's Duncan Thomas in there but Duncan Thomas makes a mistake. He's gone back to fourth place, the drama is Rob Bradley completely missing the start in the 1000cc sidecar final. It's that man Rob Wilson again at the front, he leads it then. Winterburns have got the second place with Duncan Thomas in third. Colin Blackman in four, Rob Bradley goes from the five running, getting staged with the second. Rob Bradley is getting up and he's got to try and pick up some place. He's coming through on the of Colin Blackburn, but look at Rob Wilson, he's up to the front of 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 the front
to second and third, because Perth is going to be there. Red Bulls and Winterbirds hang on to that second place. Duncan Thomas has got the third, but Bradley is in fourth. The Scrops on the second, third and fourth places, because Red Bulls and Nicky are a mile away at the front. Still Winterbirds hang on to that second place, pushing Duncan Thomas, trying to find a way through on the inside. It's still Colin, but it's still Red Bradley. As Red Bull sits in the middle of the front, it's still Thomas has gone through the second. Winter Burns has got the third. Red Bull is now looking for that third place. He's come from absolutely nowhere. He's pushing hard for the third place. He's still coming out of that top corner. Now he's going to the third. And Winter Burns' passage has come off. Winter Burns' passage has come off for holding that third place. All sorts of problems for Winter Burns as Red Bull wins it. Second is Duncan Thomas. Red Bradley comes from nowhere to get third. Winter Burns come across the line. You then call him Blackboard. What an epic 2007 poacher final. Rob Wilson has been absolutely flying all day. He was a mile away. He didn't know what was happening behind him. A three-way scrap there, the second, third, and fourth places. Winterburns held it for so long. Then Duncan Thomas found a way through. Then Rob Bradley was chasing off the Winterburns. Winterburns lost his passenger halfway up that back straight on the last lap. Rob Bradley found a way through. A scintillating 2007 sidecar poacher final. Take nothing away from Rob Wilson. He's flown all the afternoon. He's going to be favourite for the Masters title in in two weeks' time. Duncan Tollers gets the second place. Rob Bradley's come from nowhere to pinch the third. So they're coming round the lap of honour. So you've got to stop on and show your appreciation. Absolutely scintillating stuff. Where does Rob Wilson get the power from? Where does he get the power from in that machine? He's won it. Duncan Tollers has got the second. Rob Bradley has come through from six to pinch to third. Desperately bad luck on the Winterburns. They're losing their passenger on that last lap. Scintillating sidecar final. Absolutely fabulous stuff. Rob Wilson made the start and he was gone like a scolded cat. He didn't realise what was happening behind him. He's won it in convincing style. We then got the second place man who's Duncan Tollhurst and Ian Whale. Fabulous. And Rob Patterson of course. Duncan Tollhurst and Rob Patterson. Absolutely fabulous stuff for them to get the second place. And the man who really worked for his points there. Rob Bradley completely missed the start. Has worked his way through and picked up that third place position. Sean Simpson in the chair, fascinating stuff from them, that's the top three in a fabulous poacher final. Your result then of the 2006 poacher sidecar final sponsored by JB Taylor Construction, a win for number 24, Rob Wilson and Nicky Owen. Second, number 74, Duncan Tolhurst and Rob Patterson. And third, number 87, Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson. Four, number 25, Colin Blackburn and Paul Whiteman Jr. Fifth, number two, Steve Smith and Carl Pugh. And in sixth place, number 48, Rob and Tristan Winterburn. The winning time, one minute, 45.12. One minute, 45.12. Yeah, like I said, we can't, uh, can't lift road anymore. That, uh, thank you, everybody, for coming. We uh, had to put our heads on the shopping block a little bit with what we spent on this event. But uh, I think with the crowd we've got, it will be well paid off. Well, well paid off. Thank you very much for coming. And we hope to see you again next year. So we'll start off then with the solo competitors. In third place, Andrew Appleton. Fabulous afternoon's racing, have you enjoyed it? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, couldn't quite get to grips with the first corners today, but um, I think it provided some really good, excellent racing today, and uh, 
it was a really good event, so I'm pleased with that, yeah. Another good performance in what's been a very successful season for you? Yes, it's my ninth Rossum on the row, so um, yeah, it's going really good at the moment. Just want to keep it going for the Masters. Ladies and gentlemen, third place, Andrew Appleton. <laughs> Performance this afternoon, Joe Screen! You look like your old self, a bit older. I'm fatter. Joe, quick word. I think this afternoon. What have you turned the clock back? Five, ten years of that fabulous performance this afternoon? Feels like 50, mate, I tell you. you know, it's, it's a good day, really. You know, I've not had um, a grass strap meeting for a while. I went to Germany a few weeks ago, but I was just there in, in body. Um, <coughs> this I want to do well. You know, I've always enjoyed coming here. I've you always put a good show on. And um, I've got a few meetings coming up now. And um, now with the Polish League sort of climb, climbing down a bit, I can do a few meetings. But, you know, I went out last year at the end of the season and bought a grass bike. And... Um, I'm keen, but it's all, all to do with you know the Polish Speedway. Um, but I really, really enjoyed it. You know, I wanted to win that final, but but we just got away, and um, I felt quicker than him. I just when I got behind him, it got hit in the face with a load of stones. I sort of. Uh, you know, I'm at Reading tomorrow, Sweden Tuesday, and Bellevue Wednesday, so I've got to think of my, my teams as well as my living. So um, I set off a second, but I say I, I give it all for three laps. You must have been delighted you beat Robert and Willie Cage. You must have been delighted about that. Yeah, I didn't even realise he was in my race. I wasn't looking through the programme, and then when I looked behind me and I saw him smiling at me behind me, I thought, yeah, I'm going to move on. And, um, <laughs> You know, I'm glad I did that. You know, it's, it shows I can still pull something out. Um, but I enjoy it. That's the main thing. And it's, you've got no pressure of um, riding grass track. You know, the pressure's on yourself, and uh, there's no team to, to disappoint. You know, and uh, no fans to disappoint in that respect. And um, but so I've enjoyed it, and hopefully, you know, I will be making more. I'm, I'm at Swindon next week or chipping them next weekend, and I'm doing the Masters as a wild card, and then I'm doing the Burn Up. So, you know, I'm back grass track racing, and um, you know, I do enjoy it. I came from grass tracking, and um, I still enjoy doing it. So, in your heart of hearts, did you really expect to do as well today as what you have done? Did you get the yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, second place, Jesse. <laughs> First place. What can you say? Retaining his Pochi title, Robert Barr. Can we have Sheila Blackwell here, please? Sheila Blackwell, did you want to be here, please? Congratulations, thank you. Sheila Blackwell, did you want to be here, please? Oh, Nathan Shirley. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Quick word, Roy. Possibly your last appearance in England, you must be delighted with the way things have gone today. Yes, I'm happy. It's 100% the last time I come here for riding and uh, yeah, I'm happy. Before the final, I'm not 100% happy. Uh, Screeny beat me and Theo Piper beat me, but uh, the race is finished after the four laps in the final and I'm happy now I can stay on the top of the podium. And obviously looking to end your retirement by winning the World Long Track Crown again this year. Oh yes, uh, next week is the next round and I hope I can make a lot of points. And uh, I make a little bit, um, yeah, a puffer uh, with the points for FECTA and uh, yeah, that is my dream. I can make finish my career with the four-time Long Track World Championship. And obviously Joe and Andrew really make you work very hard this afternoon and Theo Piper. Yes, it uh, was not easy for me uh, can win. I make a, a good start in the final and a uh, mistake in the first corner and then I, I, um, uh, I, can, I, I look a little bit on the left side and I can see Screeny and then I think, oh, now you must give all, he's a hard rider. And, uh, <laughs> He pushed me two laps, but I think uh, after two laps uh, have now power in their hands and it was easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Link Chipotle winner, Robert Barr.
Okay, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your first, second, and third in the solos, Robert Barth, Joe Screen, Andrew Upward, and great to see Terry and Robert Fabulous stuff there for the three. Hang about, Robert. Fantastic. Right then, we move on then to the 1,000cc sidecars. Again, absolutely scintillating racing. Starting off in third place. Rob Bradley and Sean Simpson. Thank you. Right, sure. Well, that first question, what happened to the restart the final? Well, you couldn't get the gate, could you? Uh, very much driver error. I blame the man who said it was a false start the first time. <laughs> uh, forgot to change back down into first gear, to be honest, and uh, just too high gear wouldn't go. Um, got set off, and, and it, we seemed to be catching up, which was a surprise. But uh, that's one of them things, isn't it? Hectic final corner. Were you, were you exactly aware of what was happening on that back straight? Uh, not really, no, because I'd lost most of my Lexans and my, my goggles were dirty. Uh, I think Tris lost his grip just more or less as we were alongside, so unfortunately, even though the vision was poor, uh, it was alongside us, not in front of us, so at least nobody clobbered him. Sean, he doesn't make too many errors, but uh, that was a crucial one at the start, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a little bit disappointing, like, you know, because we've gone so well and gated so well all morning. Um, but I won't take nothing away from Rob. Mistakes happen. You know, unfortunately it happened in the final this time, but he's a great guy to ride with, as you see, we was last. To get back to third, we was going to be happy at third, you know, just coming into a normal final on a normal start, so third after the start we had was absolutely fantastic, and my hand goes out to Rob for a fantastic ride. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the most versatile men on the grass track scene, Rob Bradley and his partner, Sean Simpson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there's a lady here who does so much work behind the scenes. She never gets any recognition at all. And as somebody who's produced these flowers, we've suggested that Robert, as the winner of the solos, presents it. Will you please put your hands together for Mrs. Sheila Blackburn? We're on the team today, we're the team, and the result of the morning is to see this afternoon. You're not as beautiful as you, though. <laughs> I don't like the photo. That's it. Reg, come on. Come on, Reg. Reg, you're going to win as well. The team that produces this fabulous meeting every year goes from strength to strength in three. Hold on, hold on a minute, hold on. Um, just. And uh, the old person that Thank you. helps. Another tremendous performance in second place, Duncan Tolhurst and Rob Patterson. Thank you. 
Got to be trying to do two cents to do that. That's really not easy. Oh, yeah, I like it. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's it's it. <laughs> 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 okay, tremendous final. Rob was gone, but that scrap, the second, third, and fourth places, was really something very spectacular. Yeah, it was. Um, um, Rod came from nowhere and went by me, and, and I chased him down the back straight on lap two, and I got a big, a big rock hit me in the eye, and I very nearly pulled up and. But then all of a sudden I found myself back on the throttle, so we just chased after him and yeah, thankfully we did manage to go by him. But yeah, everybody was riding good today and yeah, it's just good racing. Rob, great to be on to be behind this guy. Yeah, it's good fun. Uh, it's good to be back again. We've had two good uh, meetings now and uh, yeah, enjoy coming back. Duncan, Masters in two weeks, you're the nearly man. Is it gonna be the, <laughs> your year this time? I don't know. What are we gonna do with Mr. Wilson, you know, I don't know. He's, uh, he doesn't live far from me, so I might go down and do his bike in. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, second place, Duncan Tollers and Rob Wilson. The winners at 2006 Lincoln Yaponcha, 1000cc sidecar champions, Rob Wilson and Nicky Owen. Cheers, mate. Lovely. Cheers, mate. Cheers, bro. Cheers. 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 Oh, sorry, Al. No smile, come on. Get out of it. Right. I think we were really on the talk about not the final, but that heat when you completely missed the start, the unbelievable speed going up that back straight on lap one and lap four. Yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously when, uh, I mean, Paul's an excellent rider and, uh, yeah, we just chased him and, yeah, we managed to get by him, like, you know, and that's, that's what we had to do, so, uh, yeah, no, it was good. Nicky, what was it like hanging on the back? He opened the throttle and seemed to fly going up that back straight. Yeah, just hanging on for dear life, really. <laughs> yeah, um, enjoyed ourselves out there and it was good racing and, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> European last week, Rob, Poacher this week, two weeks time, the Masters, fabulous hat trick if you can produce it. Yeah, it would be great, but um, I'm sure a lot of the other boys are having something else to say on the day, so uh, yeah, we don't want to get above our stations and I'm sure that um, there's going to be a lot of people chasing us, that's for sure. Are you going to lock the bikes up because Duncan until he's coming around the dock to the bike before the, the Masters? No, I don't, I don't, I mean obviously Duncan's going very well and there's, there's a load of guys going very well and I'm sure if they gate in front of me it's, they're going to make it very, very hard work, so, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2006 sidecar poacher winners, Scott Wilson and Nicky Owen. Look at me, you lot. Oh. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> But again, you know, the club here, obviously Red Sheila, and he's obviously got workers as well behind him, and made a, a real good 
job of today and they have for the last sort of 10 12 years so I think we ought to put our hands together for Red Sheila and the uh, club yeah Thank you very much for being with us. I hope you've enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you grass tracking in the near future. Thank you very much. Thank Have a safe you. journey home. Thank you. There's a big sword there going into that first corner and Tim Nobbs who dives through on the inside the lead going into that top corner for the first time. Tim Nobbs is the race lead. He's coming under tremendous pressure there from rider. Number 32 is Bradley Kite. Tim Nobbs and Bradley Kite. They're locked shoulder to shoulder going into that pits corner. Bradley Kite gets through on the inside. Tim Nobbs trying to get back around right the outside. This is Bradley Kite and Tim Nobbs locked absolutely shoulder to shoulder from that top corner. Spectacular entry in that top corner. Bradley Kite has gone wide and Tim Nobbs comes back by the inside line. They're absolutely together now as they go on the fourth. Kite leads him and Nobbs changes tactics going wide. He gets round the edge of Kite. Kite trying to come again back up the inside of the bike between these two as they go on the back straight once again. Peter Lord and Terry Mandley, it's Steve Spill and Carl Pugh trying to get through on the inside, they do get on the inside to move through into second place, Steve Spill and Whiteman in second, Duncan Tollis trying to get through into Paul Whiteman, they're together for second and third and Tollis gets on into Whiteman, Hiscock has got the fourth place, they go off the back straight for the first time, and there goes Tim Nobbs with a big run, Tim Nobbs has dropped in on the big way, he got the fourth place there, was looking for fourth place, he's dropped in the big way on that top corner, as they straighten up coming out of that top corner, it's Darren Pugh on the outside, Richardson dives on the inside, Pew, 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 get, getting back round the outside, super action between these two, they're locked absolutely together as they go to the back straight once again. <laughs> going on on that first corner Andrew Appleton holds the fourth place as Robert Barth takes a real wide line coming out of that to top corner number six is chasing after Matthew Tresco chasing after Robert Barth is Tre Barth and Tresco in second Appleton now goes through into that third place position going to get to winning ride on one wheel from Theo Piper in second Jamie Rogers gets a third they could be shoulder to shoulder the second and third going in to that top corner Gary Jackson holding the inside line Winterbourne trying to get round the outside Colin Blackmore trying to find a way through to get Rob Bradley but Rob Bradley, Bradley leads him going up the back straight Colin Blackmore's got the second Colin Blackmore goes it's Colin Blackmore in third he goes wide and Steve Smith trying to find a way through on the inside these two rock together going up the back straight Bradley Kite trying to work his way into the field as they go into uh, that top corner for the first time. Mark Rob is making a move on Theo Piper as they go in that top corner for the first time. Theo Piper on the inside, Robert Barth around the outside. Super action between these two with Jason Handley in third place. <laughs> place with Joe Screen holding the second place Appleton leads into that top corner for the first time of Screen in second place Rogers holds the third place at three abreast of third second and third coming out of that corner and Screen's gone between the two riders to lead into the fifth corner for the first time makes a move through on the inside of Rogers to go through into that third place mission Rogers again trying to get back round the outside line as Joe Screen that picks up another race win Joe Screen wins it Major Tall White and Major Ben Steve Smith in second place they go up the back straight for the first time Rob Wilson with all the work to do in fourth place but look at him going through he went through from 4th to 2nd and Sumpris followed him through and Steve Smith has gone through from 2nd to 3rd with Paul White and Major not super active we've got this time they come out of that top corner once again White and Major Rob Wilson's out in 2nd Winterbourne's not too far behind Rob so Rob Wilson still with a lot to do but again look at it as they come out of that pits corner then it's Wilson leads it and right the second row Wilson's took yards and yards off the opposition here we see that Duncan Tullis again it's very quick going into that top corner again he's got the speed coming out of the corner to bite behind coming into the pits corner on lap number three a bite between these and into the last seven that's the top four Oren Bradley Kite drops it again Back in third place, they go in the top corner for the first time. There's a bit of a shot coming up in this one. Who is a race leader? It is Joe Screen who leads it. He's got by Jay Stanley. Robert Bart in second place. They go. Jimmy Rogers got in, is in fourth place. That's the top four. They go in the fifth corner for the first time. It's Screen who leads it, but Bart in second place. He's just pulling away. Joe Screen going in the top corner on lap number.
number two looks behind him, see Robert Barsom, five, six guys behind him, tremendous race by screen, he leads far then for Rogers in third, and this Jeff Screen the fix of the winning riders, race number 24, Jeff Screen wins his There's Rob Bradley trying to come through on the inside of Colin Bradley, Rob Bradley getting it. That fifth corner, Colin Blackburn has gone wide. A chance for Rob Bradley to find a way through on the inside. But Blackburn is too quick for him at the moment. Rob Bradley again on the shoulder of Colin Blackburn. Colin Blackburn's gone wide. Rob Bradley almost got through on the inside. But Colin Blackburn again pulls away. Rob Bradley's hunted him there on the entry to that fifth corner on the left of the tree. Then it's for Bridget to the Again, Rob Bradley got very close on the exit. Rob He's on the inch of Colin Blackmore now, he's absolutely together. Colin Blackmore around the outside, Rob Bradley trying to get through on the inside. And Rob Bradley gets through on the inside. Coming right round the outside, fabulous action. They cross the line, absolutely together there. Fantastic sidecar action there. And Winterburn's making a big move on the outside. Coming out of that final corner. Rob Wilson picks up another win. Right, Winterburn's come right round the outside, race for the line. And Winterburn's have picked up that second place. First semi final where they go. Somebody lives at the start of this team race, right? but there's been some he's got a lot to do because it's the top two who go straight through into the final. Looks like Jamie Rogers holding that second place. They go around that top corner for the first time. It is uh, Jamie Rogers gone through on the inside of Pepe Rudolph. Rogers leads it from Rudolph in second place. Top two, of course, going through. Steve Brayford made the dreadful start just at the wrong time. Then this Jamie Rogers leads into the back place. Into the final, they move on to lap four. Rogers got the race at his mercy now. It's Celeste Croft in second, with more in third. Brayford looking for one of those top two places. Gets through the inside for Last Croft on the right there. Right there. The start is gone through in the second place. Going through in the first place, dives through, but it's held back on the entry to that top right. The Robbie one. Oh, and somebody's gone down. Is it Jason Handley that's gone down? It looks like Darren Pugh is definitely holding the second place. Vision come up for the internationals into the semi hall. And somebody's just very almost down there. They're four of us coming out of that top corner. It's eight player. They all get away. Who's going to make the cruise? The start is Robert Palmer. Robert Palmer's on his shoulder. There they go in the top corner of the first to Joe Screen. Making the move around the outside to go through into second place. But is he giving Bath too much of a start? Bath's gone extremely wide, and Joe Screen trying to get through on the inside. Appleton to the X as well. As Bath leads him up to the second screen, in third screen, trying to get back round the X. And Appleton gets back round the X. And Appleton moves to the second place. Can he get his challenge on Robert Bath and Joe Screen? Second, Appleton's got the third, it's Piper in third, Brayford in five, Rogers in six, that's the top six, and Robert Barr's got one, and Joe Screen is trying to close the gap in second place, but Robert Barr has got three bright lengths, Screen again making a move, round the outside of that pit, score these two put away for Appleton, in second place, and Robert Barr has been starting to Linkage Puncher, second is Joe Screen, third place under Appleton, then we've got Theo Piper. The clean break, Chase go up this time, who's got the advantage of come by, it's the first time we're looking to see who comes in the lead, Rob Wilson hasn't made the best of starts, and where's Rob Bradley? Rob Bradley's in last place, he's completely missed the start of the final, and looks like Rob Wilson, he's going on the back straight for the first time, Colin Blackburn goes for the second player, I think it's Duncan Tollers in there, but Duncan Tollers makes a mistake, He's gone back to first place. Rob Bradley is going to have to try and pick up some place. He's coming through on the inside. Colin Blackburn and Duncan Thomas trying to find a way through on the inside. It's still Rob Bradley. Duncan Thomas gets through on the inside of Winterburns. Then through the second place. Winterburns trying to cut back inside Duncan Thomas. And Rob Bradley's got the thick of the axe as well. Tremendous scrap for the nine of places. And Rob Bradley's now looking for that third place. He's come from absolutely nowhere. He's pushing hard for that third place. Second is Duncan Thomas, Rob Bradley comes from nowhere to get third. Winderburn's come across the line, then third from no passenger, then Colin Blackburn. What an epic 2007 poacher final. Rob Wilson has been absolutely flying all day. He was a mile away, he didn't know what was happening behind him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your first, second, and third in the solos, Robert Barth, Joe Screen, Andrew Upwood, and great to see Terry.